Welcome to this video. Global news outlets are reporting about new regulations for telecom firms that are being adopted in the U.S. to tackle the increase in consumer complaints about unsolicited robotexts. According to these regulations, phone companies must block text messages coming from shady sources, including numbers that seem to be invalid, unallocated, or underused. The FCC was prompted to act in order to protect consumers' privacy and prevent scammers from exploiting them through malicious links, which text messages can accommodate far more easily than phone calls. Companies are now being required to block text messages from phone numbers that declare that they never text or that have been designated by the government as non-texting numbers. This action is reminiscent of the government's previous efforts to tackle unlawful robocalls, which resulted in the complete shutdown of at least one phone company from the U.S. telephone network. However, it appears this effort has been counteracted with a recent surge in scam and spam text messages, with more than 18,000 consumer complaints being filed with the FCC last year. In response, the FCC is now considering rules that would extend do not call registry safeguards to text messages, as well as making it more difficult for advertisers to misuse a consumer's permission to bombard them with textual communication from multiple sources and numbers. The FCC chairwoman, Jessica Rosenworcel, issued a statement on the matter saying, Scam artists have found that sending us messages about a package you never ordered or a payment that never went through along with a link to a shady website is a quick and easy way to get us to engage on our devices and fall prey to fraud. The new regulations were unanimously adopted by a 4-0 vote, demonstrating the determination of the U.S. government to tackle spammy text messages. It's an unprecedented move, but one that could potentially reduce the risks posed by fraudulent robotexts and help protect unsuspecting consumers from exploitation. At this time, however, it's still unclear how long it might take for the regulation to take effect, or exactly how effective they'll be. The response from businesses and consumers is also yet to be uncovered. The FCC is seeking input from companies and individuals alike, so if you've got some thoughts on the matter, now's the time to make your voice heard. In the end, it's ultimately up to telecom firms and the government to stop this menace, but we as consumers should all contribute in our own individual way. Check out the latest information and news on the matter and don't forget to sign up to a reliable tech newsletter so you can stay up to date with the latest regarding these new regulations, and get all the top news, opinion, features and guidance your business needs to succeed. Thanks for watching.